see this question which of the following statement is are true f of n is big o of g of n implies g of n is big o of f of n f of n is big o of g of n implies g of n is big o of f of n okay so in case f n g are asymptotically equal in case f n g are asymptotically equal this statement is true but big o doesn't mean that f and g are only asymptotically equal g can be asymptotically bigger if g can be asymptotically bigger if g is asymptotically bigger f is big o of g of n is true but g is not big o of f of n if both are asymptotically equal like this if both are asymptotically equal asymptotically equal like this okay right now i can say n square is big o of g of n constant multiplied with n square or you can say simply n square this is true okay and reverse is also true c n square is also big o of n square okay so this is also true and this is also true for asymptotic equality but big o not only meant for asymptotic equal right side can be asymptotically bigger than f of n also if n square and n cube is there n square and n cube is there so we know that n n square asymptotically smaller than n cube okay asymptotically smaller than n cube now so we can write that n square is big o of n cube true n square is big o of n cube true n square is f of n big o of g of n n cube is true okay this statement is true okay implied right side from g of n g of n is n cube is big o of f of n means n square this statement is false okay even if it is fail for one of the statement even if it is fail for one of the statement overall we consider the given statement is false statement overall we consider the given statement is false statement okay the statement is true means it should be true for every possible function the f of n can be increment function or decrement function f and g can be asymptotically equal g can be asymptotically bigger than f of n because f of n is big o of g of n should be true f of n is g big o of g of n is true means g is asymptotically bigger than f of n okay so first statement is false then second one f plus g is theta of minimum of them minimum of fg f plus g is theta of minimum of fg so if you do f plus g f plus g the leading term the leading term can be bigger or equal to leading term can be bigger or equal to minimum of them okay so minimum of them so it can be bigger also f plus g means leading term leading term asymptotically greater or equal to the minimum of them so asymptotically greater is there in the left side f plus g can become asymptotically bigger than the minimum of them okay then the theta notation is not applicable this is a false statement okay so the counter example for this counter example for this one is okay f of n if you assume n g of n is n square so n plus n square n plus n square is not theta of minimum of them minimum of them is n okay n plus n square and minimum of them is n n plus n square not theta of n okay this statement is false but by chance f and g is equal functions by chance f and g is equal functions n plus n square is theta of n square is true but f and g are two different functions f and g are two different functions both may be equal or both may be different if f and g is different f and g is asymptotically different functions okay then their addition their addition is become asymptotically bigger than the minimum their addition is become asymptotically bigger than minimum of them in that case theta notation is not applicable so this given statement is false statement right 
then the third option f of n is theta of f of n by 2 f of n is theta of f of n by 2 see if n is base side like this if n is base side like this okay f of n as well as f of n by 2 is still asymptotically equal theta can be used if n is base side like this f of n as well as f of n by 2 f of n by 2 asymptotically equal then we can use the theta notation right so that means f of n is uh, is n f of n is n f of n by 2 okay f of n by 2 means n by 2 whole square okay n by 2 whole square so n by 2 whole square means n square by 2 n square by 2 still n square by 2 and n square asymptotically equal still n square by 2 n square asymptotically equal we can write n square is theta of n square by 2 n square is theta of n by 2 whole square or n square by 4 this is n by 2 whole square means n square by 4 right fine any anyhow it's a constant not makes any big difference n square n by 2 whole square okay so th because the difference between these two functions are become only constant multiplication difference between these two functions are become only constant multiplication right so f of n is 2 power n then what is f of n by 2 f of n by 2 is become 2 power n by 2 okay so now f of n and f of n by 2 is not asymptotically equal f of n and f of n by 2 not asymptotically equal now 2 power n is become asymptotically bigger than 2 power n by 2 2 power n is become asymptotically bigger than 2 power n by 2 so it means that it means that so 2 power n is not big o of sorry not theta of theta notation he is using theta notation here not theta of 2 power n by 2 okay so if n is base side the statement can be true if n is power side the statement can false okay even if it is fail for one of the case even if it is fail for one of the case overall we say it's a false statement only overall the statement is false only now right so then the fourth option f plus little o of f of n is theta of f of n is the statement f plus little o of f of n is theta of f of n just briefly see the difference big o and little o big o and little o difference is f of n big o of g of n f of n big o of g of n it means g of n can be asymptotically greater or equal f of n is big o of g of n g of n can be asymptotically greater or equal to f of n but f of n is little o of g of n it means g of n only asymptotically bigger g of n only asymptotically bigger not even equal okay the difference between big o and little o asymptotic equal representation allowed in big o asymptotic equal representation not allowed in little o okay of course similarity the right say g of n if asymptotically bigger g of n if asymptotically bigger so that is true for big o as well as true for little o okay if g of n asymptotically equal that is allowed for big o not allowed for little o similarly similarly the difference between omega and little omega omega and little omega so f of n omega of g of n it means f of n greater than or equal to g of n asymptotically f of n can be asymptotically greater or equal to g of n clear that so f of n little omega of g of n means f of n should be only greater than the g of n not allowed for equality okay so f of n omega means f of n can be asymptotically equal to g of n or it can be bigger than g of n but little omega f of n should be asymptotically bigger than g of n the way 
लिटिल ओ इज नॉट अलाउड फॉर एसिमटोटिक इक्वल एंड लिटिल ओमेगा इज आल्सो नॉट अलाउड फॉर एसिमटोटिक इक्वल रिप्रेजेंटेशन नाउ सो दैट इज वन थिंग एंड सेकंड थिंग एफ ऑफ एन लिटिल ओ ऑफ जी ऑफ एन मींस एफ शुड बी लेस देन जी राइट साइड शुड बी सॉरी राइट साइड शुड बी एसिमटोटिकली बिगर देन द लेफ्ट साइड ओके सो एफ ऑफ एन लिटिल ओ ऑफ इफ यू वांट टू फाइंड सम फंक्शन इफ यू वांट टू फाइंड सम फंक्शन दिस फंक्शन कैन बी एनी फंक्शन who is bigger than the left side this right side function can be any one who is asymptotically bigger than f of n by chance if we say little o of f of n asking what is here asking what is here so that means right side is given for this little o he is asking left side right side is given asking left side okay that means this can be any function which is asymptotically less than the f of n this can be any function which is asymptotically less than the f of n okay now back to this question so little o of f of n okay little o of f of n little o of f of n means any function who is smaller than f of n this can be any function okay asymptotically less than asymptotically less than f of n and other one is f of n okay other one is f of n now the second one second one is asymptotically less than f of n and this is f of n out of these two out of these two leading function is f of n only f of n is the leading term leading function or leading term okay so then overall overall it becomes asymptotically equal to f of n overall the summation of this the summation of this is become asymptotically equal to f of n both are become asymptotically equal okay because f of n is f of n is one function little o of f of n means which is less than n f of n f of n and a function which is less than f of n is added okay like this so we can say we can say so f of n if n square f of n if n square okay so so f of n plus little o of f of n f of n plus little o of f of n he is saying that okay theta of f of n is the statement right so i am just rewriting to get the clear idea f of n is n square fine okay little o of n square means function which is less than n square can be n okay is equal to theta of f of n is true theta of n square is true okay so the one function and other one is smaller than this one okay it means leading term is n square leading term is n square which is asymptotically equal to n square so this statement is true right so <clears throat> these are the four given options and out of that these three options are failed okay first statement is false we proved it second statement is false and this third statement is also false and this fourth statement is true okay so answer to this question even though it is given as multiple selection question so only one option is true d is true right